In the last lecture, we had discussion on dependent and independent sources and now we will try to understand what is an ideal voltage source and what is a practical voltage source and we will begin with ideal voltage source. An ideal voltage source has zero internal resistance. This is a very important point. An ideal voltage source has zero internal resistance and it delivers the energy at a specified voltage and this specified voltage will not depend on the current delivered by the source. So this is how we define an ideal voltage source and now we will try to understand what do we mean by this statement. We know a voltage source will have the internal voltage Vs connected in series with the internal resistance Rs and in case of ideal voltage source the internal resistance Rs is equal to zero therefore we will not connect the source resistance and the source resistance in voltage source is connected in series with the source voltage and in this case there is no source resistance we only have Vs and the specified voltage is the voltage across these two terminals and let's say this terminal voltage is equal to V and the current delivered by the source is let's say equal to I. Now we can apply KVL in this loop and we will have plus Vs plus Vs then we have minus V minus V and this is equal to zero. So from here we can say that the terminal voltage V is equal to Vs. Now when we plot the relation between V and I or you can say when we plot the variation of terminal voltage V with change in current we will have something like this. You can see that V is always equal to a particular voltage which is equal to Vs. So for all the values of current I, V is going to be Vs and therefore we said that an ideal voltage source will deliver the energy at a specified voltage, at a specified voltage and this specified voltage will not depend on the current delivered by the source. That is, it will not depend on the current I, which you can see here. For all the values of I, we are going to get V equal to Vs. Therefore, it is not depending on the current which is drawn from the source. And this also means that we can draw any amount of current without changing the terminal voltage V. So this is all about the ideal voltage source. Now we will talk about the practical voltage source. Practical voltage source has a finite internal resistance. Now this time the internal resistance Rs is not equal to zero. It is equal to some finite value and it delivers the energy at a specified voltage but this time the specified voltage will depend on the current delivered by the source. Let's see the justification of this statement. We are having source voltage Vs and the source resistance Rs and the terminal voltage that is the voltage provided by the source is equal to V and let's say the current drawn from the source is equal to I. Now again we will apply KVL we will have plus Vs plus Vs then we have minus I RS minus I RS after this we have minus V equal to 0 and from here we will get V equal to Vs minus I RS. Now when you compare this equation with this one you will find 
Here in this case, the terminal voltage V is independent of the current drawn from the source that is I. But here in this case, the terminal voltage V is depending on the current drawn from the source I. Now when we increase the current I, when the value of current I increases, IRS will also increase and hence V will decrease because IRS is subtracted from Vs. Now when we plot the variation of V with change in I, we will have something like this. On increasing I, V will decrease and when I is equal to 0, when I is equal to 0, IRS will be 0 and V will be equal to Vs. So this voltage here is equal to Vs and in ideal case we should have something like this this dashed line is showing the ideal behavior but in practical case we have rs rs is not equal to zero we have the internal resistance and due to this internal resistance we will have decreasing terminal voltage when i increases so this is all about the practical voltage source and from here there is one thing very clear that we cannot draw any amount of current I from the source because for higher values of I we will reduce to zero. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here. See you in the next one.